Nothing like that feeling when somebody's riding the fuck out of your bumper, just ri right up your ass, all up on your tailpipe and shit. Welcome back. We are at Zolder this week, starting in uh, P. Yeah, what is this? P11 with a 31 flat. There's our livery. We're looking uh, mighty, mighty fine today. Starting off, we are going to pull to the inside to take a defensive line into the first corner. Car number 16 gets a decent run, but ends up going side by side with number six and backing out as he's kind of in the middle of uh, six and myself there. So we get to safely kind of use the entire track for ourselves. Coming into what is this, turn two, and a couple cars ahead is going to spin out and totally wipe out the other two guys in front of me. So we gain three positions there. So we will ride in P8 towards the first chicane on Zolder, which, if you don't know this track, there's three chicanes. All of them are deadly. Um, all of them have deadly curbs. This first one, I would say, is the most deadly. You can see us absolutely bouncing, as well as the car ahead of us bouncing. And he takes a semi-defensive line just to make sure I don't try any funny business. A lot of side-by-side -side action going on ahead of him. This is the second chicane right here. These curbs, not so deadly in uh, terms of, like, spinning you. But they can give you a pretty bad slowdown. We get through there pretty well, though. But onto this straight. Too much throttle on cold tires. And, yeah. Then we're going to run into the wall. Just for good measure. Give it a nice little wheel spin. Cooking up our left tire there. Our right tire was in the dirt, so it didn't heat up quite as much. And that'll send us down into P21. So a pretty poor start. Just about as poor as you could have of a start, apart from perhaps having necessary repairs and needing to go into the pit lane. But um, we're going to try and make a good recovery drive. So we've got this We Are One car ahead of us, and I'm going to feel bad overtaking somebody with such a positive livery, but it's got to happen. As we come towards the final chicane on lap two, we're going to go for it from, I wouldn't say from downtown, but uh, he, did, he doesn't even try and defend this, so I assume he's just going to let me have this, and he kind of does. We send it up the inside. The inside will basically get you the position every single time. If you can get your front bumper along with their rear bumper, they have to give you that space. Fortunately, he's going to end up fighting with the guy behind him, so that's going to open up the gap between them and myself, which I desperately need, as I do initiate a little bit of oversteer right there as well, so I don't get the best run out, but I'm safe because they're fighting. And I'm going to be able to now focus all of my attention ahead, which I will desperately need to because he's pretty damn far up the road. I'm gonna do our best to catch up, currently riding in P20. Puff of smoke as we come through the chicane, and to me, what that says when I see that is somebody has either locked up or uh, made contact somewhere, gone off the track. Regardless, uh, the end result in the meaning of what that means to me is that this is going to happen. Everybody's going to group up. Fighting will ensue. People will slow each other down, and that will in turn allow us to catch up. We are slightly more than a quarter of the way through the race at this point, and the group ahead is split up into two separate groups. Number 11 makes a beautiful move up the inside of turn two or turn three. We are going to try and follow, and we see that guy, uh, we see him get that position, and when you see somebody start to fall backwards in racing, it's like they become vulnerable. Every time you move backwards, you become vulnerable, and once you lose one position, it's easier to lose another. He's going to do his best to avoid falling backwards and immediately send it side by side into the next corner. However, he cuts it. The orange car goes extremely wide, gets a little bit of snap over steer, and we weren't really expecting that. We steer to the left to try and avoid making contact with him, and you can tell his tires are absolutely cooked. I thought he was going to join the track with some decent pace or at least grip, and we'd be able to cut underneath him, but uh, that oversteer he got that started spinning him to the right really spooked me and I made the executive decision to go around him out wide. Also, we go super deep into that corner and lose time to him. A few cars ahead, car number three is going to look for a move up the inside, very optimistic I'd say, end up taking himself and the car ahead of him out. He is going to rejoin the track without too many problems, but we will pick up that position for free uh, of the guy who was taken out by car number three. So that will be us reclaiming P20 uh, because we went off track, but the group begins to fall back towards us once again. You can see we've got what is that? Five cars all within, I'd say, two and a half seconds, maybe three seconds of each other. And the two at the front are going side by side. <sighs> going side by side through these chicanes just isn't smart. Um, that guy's going to catch the worst of it as he, sp he gets spun off the track. So we'll pick up that position, moving us now up into P19. And the group ahead is pretty dense at this point. I'm optimistic that somebody's going to try a move at some point and sure enough we've got somebody defending the uh the leader of this group is defending the green and yellow car goes extremely deep and he's now almost going to go side by side with the car behind but it looks like he is successfully able to defend that position however he is now fighting with the leader of this little group ahead they're uh, both going taking a super defensive line and 
everybody's gonna get through here cleanly. Uh, not the not the cleanest, but still clean. Everybody survived. And look at this little group. We got five cars now, all on each other's tails. And uh, Eleven is gonna go for a move up the inside of car number three, I believe that is. All that's really going to do is slow both of them down. We managed to carry our speed. Taking, putting a couple of tires in the dirt to get alongside car number three here and getting around 11 in the process. 11 looks to make a move up the inside and we actually pull outside to avoid contact, which really bites us in the ass. Uh, number three is able to use that speed difference to his advantage and successfully gets around us as we head into the chicane. Uh, ultimately, we did gain one position from that car number 11, but a really rough run through the chicane is gonna send us slightly wide. We managed to gather up the car, but the speed difference once again is going to be taken advantage of. This time by number 11 who goes up our inside as we enter into the second chicane and um, we just really could not seem to move forward we were struggling a lot number 11 once again he has definitely some hot tires at this point I've seen him slide multiple times out of that corner and others the possibility of us getting a good result has pretty much completely diminished at the front of our little group here is p15 that green and yellow car but it's um even he is about four seconds up the road, and it's gonna take some, either a lot of fighting or some big mistakes, unforced errors from these drivers for me to really have any chance. There is a two wide situation up ahead, which will slow down P16 and 17 up ahead, but it's not gonna be enough for us to look for anything. However, 11 looking to fight up the inside of three could open up something for us a little bit later on. Going side by side through the first turn is gonna cost both of them quite a bit of speed. We don't uh, take advantage of that to the point where we probably could have, but three does very well to fight this. Holding 11 to a tight line, they're going very close through the sweeping rights. There's three of them back to back to back, so it's a, like a really long right hand section. And 11 successfully makes that move stick. Three looking for a good exit is he gets uh, on the gas a little early there and perhaps looking at a run into the chicane, but 11 is going to defend it, kind of forcing us to the outside and we're gonna break early. We don't wanna go too wide here, very dangerous and that's put on display here as 11 bunts his three wide. He's gonna get a penalty for that. 11 then gets oversteer. This is the guy who's had those overheated tires just about the whole race and we just managed to slide in front of him coming into the second chicane on this lap. So solidifying now into P17 with quite the little group behind us. If we make any mistake at this point, we are gonna move backwards, probably multiple positions, uh, unless we're able to gather it up really quickly, but let's not even focus on gathering anything up because we're not gonna drop anything. We are going to drive a consistent rest of the race, right? That's what's gonna happen. We are um, we're good, consistent drivers, and I'm not feeling the pressure from these people behind. Up ahead, car number 12 is going to slide out completely unforced, and that's going to be just in time for the car ahead of us to catch up to him. It looks like they might end up going side by side for just a second, but uh, the white car ultimately ends up tucking behind car number 13. So not really helping us a ton, but it definitely is putting somebody else in our sights, a new possible position for us to gain. And at this point, we are looking um, basically to just minimize the damage, running P17, and we are, I think we're car number nine, so we should be finishing top 10. Definitely doesn't look like that's gonna be the case this time, but we're gonna gain as many as we can, breaking just after that 100 board and getting right up on car number 12 here as we make our way around to the second chicane now, opening ourselves up a little bit, and we're gonna break as late as we can here, just at the end of that curve on our left side, really try and get as straight of a line through that chicane. You can see he took a lot of angle on that uh, that second part of the chicane, and that's going to allow us to have a slightly better run as we're able to enter at a wider angle onto this kind of parabolica situation we got going here. Looking for a move up the inside, he takes a semi-defensive line, and it's gonna be enough to hold me off. I have to brake a little bit extra hard there, go down to first gear, slide my tires on the way out, and that is going to solidify um, at least this next corner for P12 to be safe. Up ahead, car number five drives straight into the pits. Not sure what the situation there was. May have a penalty, but we'll pick up that position. So up into P16 at this point with three laps left, including this one. So really only two and a half laps left. And 14 is definitely on the boards, that blue car up ahead. If we can get around 12 swiftly, we may be able to challenge 14 on the last lap uh, for his position as well. Coming into the hairpin towards the end of the lap here, we 
kind of stay to the inside for just a second extra longer to try and get in this guy's head. We do end up getting a slightly better run than him, and we're going to go for it, moving to the inside for the final chicane. He doesn't seem to want to defend that. We are slightly behind him, but we're going to break as late as we possibly can, getting all the way up onto that apex. We send it a bit deep, but, I mean, we are on the inside. He has to yield to us to some extent there, and we are able to slide around there, gaining the position with two laps left to go, and uh, that whole little fiasco through that final chicane is going to open up the gap significantly to the car ahead. There is a little puff of smoke on the final lap, though, so I'm getting uh, getting it in my head that it's definitely possible for me to catch up here. The cars ahead of him have also kind of fallen back a little, so there's possibility for somebody to make a big mistake. 12 attacking us, though, is going to seize our, uh, seize our attack. We're going to have to stop taking the racing line there as we really need to defend this position. Coming around to the final chicane and all of this defense has totally torched any chance we had of moving forward, but that's okay. We are able to hold this position and I would say the damage could have uh, been less, but P15 from P21, I'm not super upset about. Of course, I am upset with my performance on lap one, sliding out and really just committing a completely unforced error there, something I definitely have to minimize in the future. Here are the results. We lost everything. Everything we had, we lost. All the way down here, we are. Uh, minus 0 .08 safety and some I rating on top of that. We're going to hop right into the next one. Feel free to pause. I don't want to look at this result sheet anymore. Once again, we're starting pretty far back in the pack. We are starting in P9 this time, so slightly ahead of where we were last time as the number 12 car. Uh, so this is a bit of a higher strength of field. Really hoping that I can get a good result here as the higher the strength of field, the better uh, your rewards will be for a good position. Managed to hold off car number 17 into the first corner, and we have nobody on either side of us, so we're able to take the racing line through this first uh, series of the triple rights. White car ahead goes extremely wide, but it's really not going to cause too much of a problem for him. It's first lap. Our tires are cold. I'm not going to force anything. I'm just going to follow through and hopefully stick onto him and just use that slipstream to avoid any attacks coming from behind. So into the chicane, we've got nobody on either side of us. We're really uh, not looking like we're in any danger here following 13 through. Not the greatest run for us out of there. Slightly better than 13s, I would say, but 17 behind us is going to get a really good run there, and he is going to send it from downtown on us into the second chicane. I saw him break really late there, and I just decided, you know what, I'm going to give him that position, uh, tucking behind him as we enter that chicane, as I would rather have that happen then uh, we go side by side and I get bunced out. Car number 10, a little bit of snap over steer as we come onto Parabolica at the end there. Nobody else is going to be hurt in that process though, so we do gain a position. So we uh, ultimately ended up gaining one from that guy and losing one from P17, or excuse me, car number 17 uh, on that lap which will land us right where we started at P9. And I'm not upset about this position. I would love to move forward, but I also don't want to get in too many incidents. So optimally picking up a free position just like this is uh, the best way to do it. And there we go, up into P8 as somebody sends it too hard through the chicane. 17, getting a bit of oversteer as are we and the car ahead of him as we all exit that corner, uh, perhaps giving a bit more power than we needed to. And eventually I started to settle into my pace and get closer and closer to car number 17 and I was thinking that I was just gonna ride it out until maybe he made a mistake but these guys lurking behind me uh, they have other plans for that so perhaps I should have been a bit more aggressive and tried to put 17 between myself and these guys because they were fast especially car number nine here the car ahead of him I wasn't so worried about he had been behind me for a good minute now uh, and at this point I realized what was happening and I was really hoping that the car behind me could just hold car number nine at bay for as long as possible uh, while I tried to get around 17 and I really started pushing car number three a few cars ahead is going to slide out with some lethal overseer out of the hairpin towards the end of the lap so we'll pick that position up putting us up into p7 now so netting two positions positive at this point which I'm pretty happy Happy about I think uh, top seven is kind of what I was shooting here for as uh, as card number 12 that's a good end result for me myself and car number 17 taking extremely different lines through the first corner but maintaining similar speed and not really changing much of a gap all of the way through there we are pretty firmly in the slipstream by the time we come onto the chicane here but looking behind us this is where trouble is gonna rise as nine sends it through and seven lets him pass Smart driving, you let the faster driver through, uh, something that I should have taken notes of this race because it's going to end up biting me in the ass. 
trying to make a move onto 17 and 9 is going to close up onto me so quickly as I just don't get the best run through that chicane, losing time to 17 and um, basically diminishing the gap that was between myself and car number 9, taking a semi-defensive line into the hairpin and it's going to be enough to hold off number 9 on this occasion, he gets a slight amount of oversteer and kind of backs off a little bit. It will also save us heading into the final chicane, thankfully, as this is a good place to make a move. A couple of laps later, still holding these guys behind me as we come into the chicane, and you can see he was looking for a move there for just a second, but I knew he was too far back to really make anything work into that corner without killing himself. He ends up getting slightly backed up, and car number seven thinks about making a move, ultimately ends up backing out. Uh, I don't think he wants to be in front of car number nine right now. He knows that this guy is quick, and he's also pretty aggressive. He's looking for moves in just about every single corner. He's within three to four tenths. Uh, we managed to both take the racing line on this occasion, so trying to keep him behind me for as long as I can. Optimally, I wanted to let him buy on a straight. This may have been a good opportunity, but you end up losing so much time here as the outside car that I just didn't want to risk losing that much time. Uh, I, I think looking back at it now, that probably would have been my best my best uh, bet was to let him through right there. Taking an extremely defensive line, we're basically riding the wall, moving over to the racing line at the last second as we're not feeling the pressure. Uh, or anything in that corner, um, at least on entry, but that horrible exit is going to yield all three of the people behind me a much better run. Nine goes around the outside of the triple right. We're trying to give him space and still keep our speed up. It's looking good at this point, but we kind of we, we allow him too much space on that final corner and it bites us in the ass he's going to get a better run than us and I was trying to minimize the damage done here I think I was faster than seven so I wanted to try and get ahead of seven uh, but it's just the, the space isn't allowed there I, I went a little too deep to initiate that and we're gonna end up losing three positions as I also have a slowdown for cutting that corner so I got contact and a slowdown losing a ton of time in three positions and now I have somebody attacking me from behind trying not to pay attention to the guy behind me and just keep my eyes planted on this camouflage car and try and follow him around as we're riding now in p10 losing those three positions really sent us back down so we're actually netting negative one positions at this point uh, not too worried about the guy behind as I I'm still finding my pace I am slightly worried about the car two cars behind me though but uh, we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later as we head towards the first chicane the blue car has absolutely gapped the two guys ahead of me and then he gets um, ahead of somebody else so he is absolutely tearing through the pack I think he's in like p6 or something at this point car number three has gotten around the white car that was behind me and coming into turn one I'm gonna make quite a hash of it sending it way too hot into the corner having to slow down a lot on exit which is going to absolutely kill my run I actually pull over and slow down here to let three through I know he's quick and I know he'll he will probably end up uh, initiating some sort of battle with the camouflage car in the white car who have been going side by side and having a little battle of themselves uh, amongst themselves for the past few laps car number 17 up ahead is going to slide out hopping over the chicane so we'll pick up that position putting us back into p10 as we fell down to p11 letting car number three through so still netting uh negative one positions and we're running out of time i think at this point there's only about i want to say there's five laps left so we're well past halfway through the race and the group ahead is absolutely condensing i'm not sure what exactly caused it but all five of these people there's actually six people ahead of us all within about three seconds car number four finally decides to make the move an aggressive aggressive dive bomb and it's not going to work out for me since it's super deep taking out number i don't know who that was that white car and uh, we'll pick up that position so we are now up into p9 we are cutting breaking even at this point to where we started and they're still kind of switching positions up ahead looking to hopefully see a bit more fighting and gain a few more freebies before the end of this race uh, if if we can put a move on somebody i would love to have an overtake this race i've pretty much just been falling backwards and moving forwards at the will of others i haven't really had much control over anything in this race all of us taking a really similar line through the first corner and it's going to keep everybody very tight as we head into the triple right hander uh, car number three i believe that is looking to make something happen as he tucks in and takes a super tight line it's kind of hard to see him he's right on the camouflage guy's tail but sending it too wide through this corner just isn't the smartest it's a very fast corner and you sacrifice so much speed especially when there's people behind you so everybody's going to stay in line heading towards the chicane uh car number seven looking to perhaps defend but i'm not really looking to attack at this point i was pretty far behind and as we've mentioned too wide through that chicane is gonna kill you i'm not 
I'm not worried about it. We get a pretty bad run through the chicane, and it, we basically fall off of the group. But fortunately, the camouflage car up ahead is going to go deep, get on the throttle a little bit early, and he's going to end up driving number three off of the track. We then switch to the inside on car number seven as we head into the final chicane, so we're already up two positions, making to looking to make it one more, breaking after the 100 as late as we can, and still meeting that apex, cutting the curve slightly for rotation as well. And we're going to come through there cleanly. We will take a look back real quick at everything that just went down after we hit the wall right there for good measure. Car number four, I think he just sent it a little bit too hot and then oversteers and just gets on the throttle, actually. I think he was trying to spin his car. It really just ends up taking out number three. And then we get bumper to bumper with this guy and having the inside, like we've said, for this final chicane. It's going to give you that position. Now, I I, be I believe I was faster than this guy behind me, but I also I know it was pretty damn close. So we have two laps left at this point, and... All I need to do is hold him behind me. We're sitting in P6 now. We've moved up quite a few positions uh, that last lap. And I just want to hold this guy behind me for a couple of laps. Uh, the pressure was definitely on at this point. This guy, I think he made two overtakes on me, or uh, maybe just one. I think this is the guy, actually, who we had a small incident with in the chicane earlier when we got passed by all three of them. So I'm looking to defend this as hard as I possibly can. We're going to jump on board with him just so you can see how hard I'm defending. I move over to take the racing line, but it's too, it's too late into the braking zone for him to adjust. He almost did there, but he's able to follow us through extremely closely through the second chicane. Similar thing is going to happen here as he stays right on our tail. We do managed to get a good drive out which will save us into this final hairpin however as we come to start the last lap something horrible is going to happen oh shit the door's open i forgot to text my girlfriend oh my god one lap left we just gotta make this count oh shit <laughs> So this is what I was seeing. My garage door was open. It was bright as hell outside. And for this last lap, we're gonna do what I'm calling the in-car above car cam. Here you go. Four tenths. Oh, shit. Oh, no. It's all about the muscle memory. It's all about the muscle memory. Sometimes you have to adapt. Oh, come on. Okay, holding them the four tenths behind us. God bless. Now we only had about half or slightly over half of a lap left to secure P6 as card number 12. So I knew I had to push through whatever it took, even if you can't see. Oh, shit. That scared the fuck out of me when he did that. I thought I was going to die there. Okay, I think we did it, boys. Oh, my God. Let's go! Bringing it home against the odds for a P6. Uh, didn't really have to do much that race apart from just try and drive as clean as possible, but sometimes that's racing, man. Here are the results for that one. Um, super stoked about that result in that race. That one was absolutely crazy. We gained I rating, lost safety rating, pretty much what I expected. Uh, our fastest lap was actually good enough for a P5, but um, we weren't gonna find ourselves there on this occasion. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, I've got more on my channel. And if you guys are enjoying them, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton. And I'm going to continue to bring some fucking awesome content for you.